All right, hello guys, and welcome to Shapeify. I'll be talking about how to make this stylized anime or Ghibli tree showcased in this picture here, along with how to incorporate it into bigger scenes like this one, along with smaller bushes using the same technique. The blend file for both of these pictures will be in the description below, and my keybinds and shortcuts will be in the bottom left corner of the screen if I don't mention them. With that, let's get into it. Okay, so open up a new file in Blender. Delete the default scene with A and X. Then add a Q with Shift A. Now go to your modifier panel. Add a subdivision surface modifier. Crank the viewport subdivision up to two. Okay, now it's time to start modeling. So I suggest working off a reference. Just drop in your file of choice, and Blender should just put, drop it in as a picture that you can work off of. Now tab into edit mode, and enable X-Ray with Alt-Z, meaning you can select through the mesh, and start extruding, start moving the pieces around, insetting, all that stuff until you get the general shape of your tree trunk. Okay, so once you have the shape of your tree, 
it's time to add the leaves. Select your reference image and click H to hide it. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a bunch of spheres and place them where the leaves would be. I'm going to do that now. It just has to be a rough shape. It doesn't have to be exact. Instead of making a new sphere, you can just duplicate it with Shift D. Once you have your blobs of spheres, you need to make a texture to put on a plane so we can instance that object as a particle system for each of these spheres. And that means it'll look like those leaves on the sphere. So go to any photo editing or digital painting software of your choice. I'm using Krita just for example. Create these shapes like this, the color doesn't matter, you can texture it in Blender. And all you need to do is duplicate them around, keep on filling up the whole canvas with these leaf shapes. And once you feel like you're done, you can just export it and make sure that the background is transparent. You have this little checkerboard in the background. Okay, so once you have your leaf texture, it's time to add a plane to put that leaf texture on. So add a plane with Shift A, scale it up, move it so you can see it, and go to the shading workspace. And I'll click on the plane, click New, and just drop in your leaf texture by just dragging the picture from your files, and connect the color to the color, the alpha to the alpha and add a mapping node, add a texture coordinate node, and you can add nodes by doing shift A just like in the viewport. Connect the UV to the vector, the vector to the vector, and now we need to make sure this is see through. So go to your Material settings with this red icon, click on Alpha Blend, and this allows it to be see through, at least in Material Preview. So now we do make sh these all see through because we don't want to see these spheres. So add a new material, delete the principled uh, shader with X, add a transparent PDSF, connect that to the surface. And we need to enable alpha transparency. And instead of doing the same thing for all of them, just click select all of them like this. And that's all of them. And select the last one with the thing. And do control L materials. And now all of them have been doing some cool stuff. Okay, now we need to make a particle system. So go back to the layout and click on one of the spheres, doesn't matter which one. Go to this tab, which is the particle properties panel. Click the plus to add a new particle system. And now we need to set the frame start zero, frame end. To one and we need to emit from the volume because we want the leaves to be inside the sphere and we want it to be random and we need to make sure we rotate them crank up the randomize all the way to one and we need to render them as this plane here so Set the render as to object, take this picker thing and click on the plane. And now if we go to material preview, see that they are 
pretty small. So we need to scale them up. And you can do that in the render properties. And scale it up however much it seems good. Instead of making a new particle system for each sphere, all you need to do is copy the same particle system you made for another sphere. Just click on the plus button, which I've already done. So I'll do it again. And click on the same particle system that you have for the first sphere. See, both of them have the same one. And you can just continue that for each of them. Okay. So now if you want to color the tree, because like we want to make it the same yellow color as the picture does. Go to the shading workspace again, click on your plane, and if you have the alpha enabled, you can just detach the base color. And this is because the rest of the plane is transparent, so only the part that is white is showing, it means we can just manipulate it however we want. So shift A and add a color ramp, and shift A and add a gradient texture. And collect the, connect the factor for the color, it doesn't really matter which one. And you can see that as we move the slider, the leaves kind of change color from left to right. This kind of gives us a dull effect. And now you can change this to any color you want. Now you can see that kind of variation in the leaves now. As for shading the tree, this is the node setup that you need to have. It's a very simple one, or you can find a tree material online or a PBR texture. Just have a Voronoi texture, a color ramp, and a bump node, and the normal principled shader. Also a mapping and texture coordinate node, and also up the scale on the Y. This makes it have those type of stripes. As for the other objects in your scene, you can add whatever you like. I added some grass and a couple of rocks and a tombstone. I rendered in cycles and I also photoshopped in the background instead of using an HDRI, but the choice is yours. Thanks for watching. All our links are in the description, like the download links for the blend files, as well as my Instagram where you can see some of the other artwork I've done. Please like, share, and subscribe. Peace.